you're going to have fights in your life. You're going to have a lot of fights in your life. And the fights that you have in your life, man, they're going to be weight loss. They're going to be sometimes in sickness. They're going to be in relationships. They're going to be with death. Uh, they're going to be in your career advancement. They're going to be uh, financial. You're going to have certain fights in your life. But the more you know, the less you fight. DSL Nation, what's happening? Um, Jocko Wilnick um, and those who uh, is a retired Navy SEAL. You may have seen Jocko. He's on all the social media. He's a big... He's a big guy. He's a retired Navy SEAL. He's written a couple of books, and and he said recently, he said he said um, he said this. He said uh, what when I'm in a situation nowadays. He said the the fact that the more that I know, the less I fight. He said the more I know, the less I fight. And the reason why to add some context to that, he was. He's a retired Navy SEAL, but at first he didn't know jujitsu. He didn't know how to, and so once he started learning jujitsu, he got in less altercations. He said, "It's funny. As big as a guy I am, when I got in certain situations, I seem to always get in altercations. Before I knew jujitsu, but now that I know jujitsu, I get in less fights. The more I know, the less I fight. And see." Now that he knows jujitsu, Jocko could walk in certain situations and not everything, even though the tension may be there. Even though the tension was there, he, he, he didn't perceive everything as a risk. So now that he knew how to fight, what he was able to do is, is he can maneuver and leverage and know what to look for and then strategize from there. And if you think about that, man, the more I know, the less I fight. If you think about certain situations that you've been in in your life where you fought, you didn't know anything about it. So when you were confronted with some sort of uncertainty, you, you just started swinging wildly. And a lot of times, man, in those fights, we make the situation worse in our lives, don't we? And so when you're in these kind of situations, you're going to have fights in your life. You're going to have a lot of fights in your life. And the fights that you have in your life, man, they're going to be weight loss. They're going to be sometimes in sickness. They're going to be in relationships. They're going to be with death. Uh, they're going to be in your career advancement. They're going to be uh, financial. You're going to have certain fights in your life. But the more you know, the less you fight. See, fighting and knowing how to fighting, uh, knowing how to fight are two totally different things. See, when you just fight, you're going in there just kind of ignorant and you, you, you sometimes are premature because not everything has to be a fight right then and there. And so when you know how to fight, then you can walk in, dude, with this kind of confidence, this air of confidence, because I know what to look for. I know what to maneuver. I know how to find my leverage points. See, fighting and knowing how to fight is two totally different things. And see, just like Jocko, man, Jocko doesn't have to walk in as big as a guy as he is. He doesn't have to walk in and all of a sudden buck up. He doesn't. If things pop off, he knows what to do. He knows how to handle himself. And so the experiences that you're going to have in your life, what's important, you're going to have experiences that you don't know what to do. And dude, I've worked with so many salespeople, myself included, man, where you, you, you know you got one week left in the month and you don't have all your obligations met. I mean, dude, you're, you're like, and it's too late to run. And I've dealt with so many salespeople who come to me and they say, Marsh, I don't know what I'm going to do, man. I don't know how I'm going to pay my bills. And they had to, it was too late to run. So they had to fight. They had no choice but to fight. And sometimes they overcame and sometimes they came just a little bit short, but they were closer than the, the initial fight. And so when you can take those experiences that you have in your life, the fights that you have in your life, when you can take those experiences and move them forward in your life, the next time you have a similar situation, it may not be the same, but the next time you have a fight in your situation, bro, you know how to fight. You don't have to fight, but I know how to fight. See, that's a confidence I'm talking about. That's when you walk up to a certain situation or you're just all of a sudden find yourself in a situation and you say, I know what to do. See, people, people are drawn to that. Your family is drawn to that. Not because you fight, because you know how to fight. Because you have that kind of confidence. So when, when, when the tension rises, when the situation rises where everybody else is swinging wildly, you're strategizing. I know what to do. I know where to go. 
I know how to leverage my opportunities. See, fighting and knowing how to fight is two totally different things. And let me tell you something, dude. I've fought in divorce. <laughs> I've had fights in divorce. I've had fight in demotion. I've had fights in bankruptcy. I've had fights in recessions. I've had fights in natural disasters. I've had those situations and as distasteful as those fights are, man, the next time I have certain situations, not that I want that situation, but the next time I have some sort of fight like that, I don't have to fight because I know how to fight. You're going to have those things, man, in your life. You got to welcome the fights, man. You do. You have to bring those things on. Because running from them, that's what most people do. They want to run and blame. Or they go through the fight and they blame and they say, uh, here's the reason why I was. Had I not done this, so-and-so had it out for me. No, when you get in those certain situations, even if it doesn't come out favorably the way that you want it to, you take those experiences forward. You don't blame anybody. You learn from those things. This is what I should have done. This is the maneuver. That's what MMA fighters do, right? When, when, uh, when McGregor lost to, to Nate Diaz, what did he do? He looked at the fight. He realized where his weaknesses were, how he got himself in a situation. And so the next time, yes, he got the hell knocked out of him. Yes, he was getting beat. Yes, he almost dropped in fatigue. But he came out and he was victorious. He won because he knew what to do. He had been in that situation before. Fighting. And knowing how to fight is two totally different things. So whatever experience that you've had in your life, man, those are, those are blessings. Those aren't curses. Yeah, I know they suck. And I know it was painful. And I know it may not, maybe not turn out the way that you want it to. But bro, the fact that you have a blessing that you can stand right here and be able to leverage those experiences and those opportunities so the next time I'm confronted with that situation, I've only got a few days left and all the, you know, the, it's all on the line. I know what to do. I know how to leverage. I know where to go with this. All right? Fighting and knowing how to fight. Two totally different things. And the more you know, the less you have to fight. Don't back down. Remember, the greatest sale that you'll ever make is the sale you own you because you're more than enough. Have an amazing day. Stay in the sales life.